Hey everybody, welcome back uh, to the channel. We got uh, ooh, quite a uh, quite a thing to show today. The next in the, the latest in the Third Man Records Vault exclusive release uh, has arrived just before Christmas. So we're going to take a look at that. Uh, sorry, it's been a while since uh, I've appeared, uh, you know, doing one of these videos, just me and you. Uh, it's been a while, but uh, hey, what can I say? It's been busy. But we're back now. We're doing a Third Man Records release. Now, they've kind of changed up the way they uh, send their releases nowadays. They're sending them in these boxes. This is the second month in a row they've sent them in one of these boxes instead of, like, the, you know, the record kind of uh, mailer that they've normally done. So this is cool, too, though. I like this. Opens up like this. And then you get a nice look at what's inside. It's in, uh, it's wrapped in shrink. It's kind of secured to the bottom there. Uh, it's got these kind of cardboard baffles on it, on each side. Keeps it, you know, like it's stuck perfectly in the middle. It really can't be damaged in shipping this way. All the corners are protected. Can't really move around at all. So great job uh, with their new mailing design right there from third man records if you're unaware in this first time you've stopped by this channel i'll get these uh third man record vault releases uh quarterly um it's like a uh, book club for vinyl lovers so they'll send you uh you you pay monthly or you can pay yearly and uh you get specially curated vinyl picks from third man records that's jack white's uh, publishing company uh, he'll uh, often press the stuff in his own vinyl pressing factories uh, they're exclusive only to vault members you know this title may come out in a separate release for mass market but it certainly won't get the same uh, exclusive you know wax pressing that this gets so there's some exclusivity to join this club uh, I've been doing it for a while I gotta say I recommend it because I'm still with it so here we go. Let's take a look at uh, Jack White Live Supply Chain Issues Tour. That's vault package number 54. I was lucky enough to go see Jack White on the supply tour, supply chain issues tour at his Toronto stop. So it was very cool to get a uh, vinyl release supporting that in the mail that's cool Went with my friends kevin and sarah concert buddies good times were had you know they they got me there late but that's okay yeah. so as usual you got your little parchment piece of paper here that says uh, exactly what it is and on the back so you can hit the space bar, hit the pause button. So you can read that. It tells you exactly what we got in here. Uh, so far from 2022, a relatively eventful year for Jack White. Yeah, what did he pump out? Three three albums last year? Uh, so there we get a seven incher. Tip from you to me and tip from you to me demo on there. We'll take a look at that and there is the actual record got your third man he's using when i when i saw this in tour this drape came down in the background and uh, very reminiscent of the same kind of drape that bob dylan used live in the early 2000s i wonder if they shopped at the same drape uh drape uh, store concert drape tour where should we open first let's get the seven inch out of the way comes in a nice seven inch sleeve that's nice some nice graphics on the front there that is uh that mannequin was on stage during the show and it was uh it was outfitted with microphones in it so jack white would sing into this thing folding cover on there 
Um, oh, that is sparkly goodness right there. Very cool. I like to read what's in the dead wax, but it's hard. It's hard to make out. Let's see. That ain't happening. Maybe I'll do a close up. Insert video edit of the dead wax. That aside. What do they call that? Uh, disc three or disc two. So this is a three disker. The seven inch is a single, a tip from me to you, complete with previously unreleased solo acoustic demo. Don't say what they call that color. Sparkly goodness. I'll call it. Okay, so this is some kind of gatefold. Uh, there's no way I can open it without taking out the shrink wrap, which I always hate doing. I like leaving the shrink wrap on. Dangerous. Here we go. Oh, the worst. Hate doing this. Why can't we leave the shrink wrap on? It's so pretty. It's so pretty leaving the shrink wrap. Okay, here it comes. Yeah, classic triple opener right there. Triple gate, triple gate fold. Here's the artwork inside there. I'm clumsy with the camera. I'm doing a different camera setup, so I'm clumsy with. I'm out of practice, so uh, if you see me peeking around, it looks clumsy. Sorry. Okay, here we go. The first uh, album comes with the. Uh, that looks like it was on the inside. Jack White tour posters. I would have loved to get one, but everything at the uh, at the concert boutique shop was wicked expensive, like insanely expensive. Here is side A. This is Jack White live supply chain issue tour side A. Look at that record. Nice. Looks good. I don't see any defects, and I can tell. And it says, out of the twilight on that side in the dead wax. Yeah, I managed to actually read it this time. And in the... No. No, well, insert video edit of that dead wax. That's disc one. In the middle, we'll pull out disc two with another. Does it get another piece of artwork in here in the middle? No, nothing in there. Just the disc. Disc two sides D and C. C's get a little paper uh, rip there on the spindle hole. Oh, what can you do? Ooh, God, that's something about white vinyl. I love it. I love it. Looks good. That one's good too. And finally, disc three. There's no other paper insert again, it's just the disc. EF. Spindle holes look clean on this one, though. And what do we got here? V. 
beautiful black. Look at all the tracks on there. Holy crap. Looks like KTEL records or so many tracks, both sides. Grooves look good though. I don't see any. No uh, scuffing, no fingerprints. Ooh, there's a little fingerprint right there. I don't know if that'll show up, but what can you do? Okay, yeah, in a new segment, we'll just do a video insert of uh, what it says in the dead wax. I'm sure I know how to do that, so look for that. It'll be something fun in the dead wax. So there you have it. All three discs. Nice triple fold cover. Artwork's cool. Um, the discs look good. Includes that 7-incher. Um, this bit of... I love seeing all the posters there. That's a really nice addition to the set. The other side. Man, I don't remember the posters being this cool at the Toronto show, or else I might have got one, because that looks pretty cool. And uh, I hope that's it, because that seems to be it. Mm, disc 3, disc 16, disc 1. Yeah, that's it. Jack White, Supply Chain Issue Tour. That was my uh, first reaction unboxing of the disc. So hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for joining us. Don't forget uh, the collectors show where we go through all of our crazy collections. That live show appears on this channel. Uh, come by and uh, join us in the live chat for sure. That's a lot of fun. Um, over on Midnight is Flashing, the VHS show. Where we get through some of this VHS stuff. That's Midnight is Flashing on YouTube. Look for that. Um, thanks again, guys, for hitting the subscribe and hitting the like button and checking out whenever you see a video pop in on this channel it means a lot uh we're gonna keep it going hope you'll join us for the ride and uh yeah look for more stuff we're gonna check out open more stuff uh see some more weird wild things hope you're gonna be there with us uh i don't know why i'm still talking but uh that gives you time to put the the windows up here to say where to go next so that's always something yeah okay thanks everybody we'll see you next time